friends welcome to my video in this video we will see how to obfuscate your source code to secure it uh, while building your apk file on your android app so the steps which we will take in this session is like first we will create a very simple app and then we will build a normal apk first and see how anyone uh, anyone who wants to know uh, know how to do reverse engineering can uh, see the source code from your normal apk and then we will create an obfuscated apk so that your source code cannot be Scene. So let's begin. I'll create a simple project and you can name this project anything for the test or obfuscated code. I'll just name it as obfuscated code and place of things. I'll leave it as it is. Click finish and wait for my environment to load. In the meantime, when my environment is loading, I'll quickly go to my browser and I'll show you. This is one uh, 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 demo where I have shown how to do reverse engineering. Basically, get a source code from your APK file. So, we'll be using more or less the tools which I have shown in this uh, uh, particular tutorial, which is basically uh, the Dex2 um, jar, and then I'll be using the JD GUI to convert my jar uh, into a GUI. So let's go back over to our Android Studio environment and wait for my environment to load. Once the environment loads, first and foremost, I'll create a very simple app. So let me also start the emulating parallel and I'll go back to my this tutorial, in fact, and I'll copy paste the or use the almost the same code from here itself. So I think I can do one thing I can just control C and go back to my Java code here. And I can reuse it, but before that, I'll do one thing in my XML file. Let me minimize this. I don't think I need that. In my XML file, what I'll do is I will give an ID to this text view, which is basically text view. Okay, okay. So basically, I think my emulator is also coming in parallel on the right hand side. Let it come. Perfect. So emulator has come, but anyway, the role of emulator is pretty minimal in this tutorial. So let me quickly give this particular ID. Now if I come back here and I have already copied this uh, code and I'll just paste that code. Control V. So I think I may have to just import it by pressing Alt Enter. Alt Enter. Yeah. Fine. Now only thing is I need two buttons to set uh, to call this methods from the Java code. So I'll use the buttons with name as set and I'll just give the right constraints I'll put one more button first and then I'll give the one click attribute so first let me and this will be what trivial and if I scroll down it will be something called on click attribute and here I will just say button clear associate it and in this one I'll do it button set yeah, so these are the methods from the java code so that's all i think our app is ready i'll just quickly run it once in the emulator and show and then we'll start our process so i think i can keep the smaller yeah so i click set it sets something in the text view never set clear it uh, Clear, so if resets the other text. Okay, so this is a very simple code I wanted to show as a demo. Now let me start first building the APK file. So before that, I'll go to this build variant option here. If you can see over here, so by default it's debug. Also, the other approach to bring this build variant option is go to build menu and click on select build variant. So this also will bring up this window over here. Okay, so by default it's in debug. So uh, to of first get and string code you should go for the release uh, version however what i'll do is first let me build the apk for the debug version so i'll just just build uh, apk for debug version so i'll build in fact three apks one is for debug one is for release uh, normal and another last one will be released with obfuscation on yeah so here i have got for debug so now let me change the active build variant to release and once it's done i will again build it so i'll go here 
and build apk you can also use the command line to build that uh, uh, to build the apks so this is also built so if i click on locate so now the release has come so uh, i have a debug and then i have a released folder probably what i'll do is i'll rename this apk uh or probably i'll yeah do something like clone of course get it okay so it's a bit long name but i think that should be fine we'll see and uh, last part is now we will obfuscate our code so to obfuscate the code you have to go to your build.gradle file which is basically here in the app level and inside the build types you'll see this option is minify enabled make it true so i can also show you uh, the place uh, the in the android you can go to this particular link i'll post this link uh, uh, in my description as well and in this page they show how to shrink or obfuscate the code and the commands are pretty straightforward you have to set is minify enable true and also if possible you can set this also is shrink a resource to true so i'll do that as well probably yeah perfect so that's all i'll do a synchrono over here uh, and then i'll build it again my um, build variant should be released let's make sure it's released and build it again so let's wait for the build to happen perfect the build happen i can click on locate and go there so it comes to release okay wow okay so i think i renamed one apk earlier and kept it here but i think that has been overwritten so i think uh, my bad this time what i'll do is probably i'll copy it and uh, save it somewhere else probably setting it outside of here and probably rename it as obfuscated so i'll have to redo it basically obfuscated so this one is obfuscated and i'll uh, generate again the non-obfuscated code so let me go back here and uh, let me switch back to the false yes and sync no and then i'll do a build so this is for the non obfuscated part yeah i think it got created so yeah my previous one is as it is and if i go back inside this is probably the non obfuscated part so i will bring this apk also here and probably i'll rename it to non of us get it okay and the last uh, one more what we'll do is with a debug one so these are the three apks which we'll be using one by one so let's go ahead with our next steps so these steps i have also shown in this uh, uh, tutorial uh, how to convert apk to jar and then jar to source code so similarly i will follow those steps in this uh, tutorial also so i'll just copy all these three apks and I'll do one thing. I will copy it in a folder inside my text tools 2.1 apk file and then I will just uh, one by one convert this apk into the uh, jar file. So this is for the first one which is debug and then similarly I can do okay. So I think the jar files should get created here. Yeah perfect. So this is for de debug and i think i'll have to give it some time to complete and then once this first one is created this is for the non obfuscated one and then we'll create for the obfuscated as well please note i'll go back here and show you why i'm trying with the release more because it very clearly says that your project's release build type so enables code uh, shrinking of first case and optimization for only projects release build type so that's why we have to use the release build over here okay so if i go back here so i think uh, uh, that is also done so now the last part is the obfuscated one so yeah this one 
So then we got the three jars here, right? And now let me quickly start the this particular tool, which is basically yeah, converting uh, from jar to GUI. And I go back to my here, and one by one, what I'll do is I will just put it in. So this is for debug. So this is for the non obfuscated and this is for obfuscated. So we'll see one by one all three what happens. So this is release, uh, non obfuscated. This is release, but non obfuscated. Or oh, this is obfuscated. Okay, and the first one was debug, right? So if you see all three in parallel. So let me see if I can really get everyone in parallel one by one yeah this looks good uh, this also should come like this in between yeah perfect yeah okay so if you see first let's go with the debug mode okay so here if you see we have the access of the complete source code over here itself okay so whatever code we wrote button clear button set we have it here if i go to release non obfuscated code here also same thing, we have the access to source code. However, if you go to this one, which is basically the obfuscated part, no, we do not have the end user, a person who is having your APK file also, he or she will not be able to figure out your code. If you try to say, check, we have no place where the complete code is there. And the class names are also modified A, B, C, D, which doesn't make much sense. And it will be really difficult for someone to really get a complete source code uh, very easily with this obfuscation done. So that's all I wanted to show you how easy it is. You have to just use that flag uh, in this particular Gradle file. Basically, uh, this to you should make true and build it using release uh, variant. Then the APK what you will get is very, very safe to be shared with anyone they can't see your source code they can't see your logic so yeah you can do this so that's all i wanted to show you that uh, you can use that uh, to obfuscate your code and uh, then the no one will be able to reverse engineering your uh, your code to see it uh, see the source code so that's all i hope this video is useful to you if you have any questions or suggestions then please put in the comment section below and if you like this video then please subscribe to my channel thank you and have a nice day